Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Got a new DIY today for you guys. And it involves adding a rudder to your trolling motor, whichever trolling motor that may be. This one's specifically um, going to be catering to trolling motors that at least have a one and an eighth inch shaft. And it does involve some 3D printed parts. But it's a simple project. It shouldn't take you no longer than 15 minutes to mount. So with that said, let's go ahead and proceed on to the video. So here's all you're going to need is a way to cut your cutting board, drill motor, 3 16 drill bit is what I'm using or you could use a quarter inch drill bit and preferably long tie wraps and a pencil. So here I have my Minn Kota all set up on my engine stand. Here's the cutting board I'm going to be using which is from Walmart. They're only like a dollar eighty-eight I believe or eighty cents I can't remember but they're really really cheap and for this project they're perfect. Here are the three 3D printed pieces that we need and I've already went ahead and shaped out how I want to cut this so you can actually cut in here also to get this to go up against the shaft but I'm not going to do mine that way um, that way it's just made it up against there you're not going to gain that much maybe 3 16 of an inch and here is where I'm going to be cutting it right back from the blade um, so there's no interference when the blade when it's rotating. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and pull this off and cut it, show you the process, and then I'll show you the process on installing it. Just got to clean it up a little bit now. Alright, so here we have the rudder all cut out. Ready for mounting. Okay. This edge is going to go up against the trolling motor shaft. Right here. So all we need to do now is just grab our little pieces. Okay. Now, all you got to do with these is basically just squeeze on them a little bit and you'll see that they kind of open up find where is it that you want to attach them okay I'm just gonna pick out random spots here then of course you mount your bottom piece now we're gonna fit it if you're happy where these are, then just go ahead and snap them in place. That's it. It's solid on there. Now you can go ahead and tie wrap them in place if you want. I'm going to tie wrap mine. And this is where you need your drill. So now you go ahead and just drill right where the holes are.
Okay, so once you have your holes drilled, just go ahead and grab your tie wrap, fish it through the hole. And if you've noticed, I've put grooves on here just to help hold the uh, tie wrap where it needs to be. And that's it. It's not going anywhere. Now for this bottom one, you may need two of these because you're the motor diameter. Your best bet is just to try it first. As you can see, I'm going to be short here, so I'm going to go ahead and add a second second piece to the tie wrap. Whoops. Had a tie wrap failure. Be right back. Okay, I'm back with my cutters so I can get this one off. I'm gonna try to salvage most of this tie wrap. Put a new piece on there. Get this one started. Once you got it in there, you just go ahead and uh, trim all your tie wraps. done it's not going anywhere and it's easy to remove just cut the tie wraps off and pop it off if you had to replace this or you just didn't want it on there or move it on to another trolling motor all right wasn't that simple just like I said of course it was anyway I hope you guys enjoyed today's video uh, be sure to hit that bell notification on the bottom that way you'll be notified when I come up and do DIYs and post them also, let's see if we can get 100 likes on this video. If I can get 100 likes on this video, I will go ahead and upload the files to these 3D printed parts so that you can fabricate your own. I think that's a fair deal. All right, guys. Thanks for dropping by. And until the next one, tight lines.